Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to create packages in Python. So in the last video, I showed you how to create modules, which basically means creating files in the same directory that allow you to import code from those modules and use it in um, a different source file or from the Python interpreter. So a package is similar, except that it has more in it so it can have like sub packages and multiple modules and it can also be used from a different path so you're not quite in the directory you're outside of the directory looking at the package and then the package would have all the subdirectories so that's probably a weird explanation so it's better if i just show you what i'm talking about so the first thing i'll do is i'll create a package i'll call this my package and inside of my package to make it an actual package i have to create one file and this one file is going to be called underbar underbar init underbar underbar dot pi so this file doesn't need to have anything in it it just tells python that this directory should be treated as a package so now i can add another file in here and let's say i'll call this file demo dot pi And now I have two files in here and I'll just create uh, one function. So I'll say demo print now in the demo file. So I'll save that. And from the Python interpreter, I will run this demo print file. So we see here that I have my package and I'm not going to descend into that directory where demo is. I'm going to be outside of it and I can be outside of it because this is a package. So I'll demonstrate by running Python and I'll import my package dot demo. And when I do that, I now have access to the code in this demo file. So I'll do my package dot demo dot demo print and we see that we are now in the demo file. And if I didn't want such a verbose name, I can do my package.demo as DE. And I, I can do DE.demo print. And then I can also do from my package.demo import demo print. And then I can call demo print directly. So all those do the same thing. So now if I wanted to create a sub package, I'll create a new directory. I'll call it sub package. And then in here, I'll add another file. And if you guess underbar underbar init underbar underbar dot pi, you are right. And I'll add a file in this sub package. So let's call it, um, sub demo dot pi so i'll go back to here whoops and then i will let me just exit out just to make sure it registers um now i can import from my package dot sub package dot sub demo and let me just add a function in here so demo uh sub demo print now in the sub demo package and file. Okay, so back to the interpreter. So import my package dot sub package dot sub demo. And then I can do my package dot sub package dot sub demo dot sub demo print. And I see that I'm now in the sub demo package in file. And of course, if I wanted an alias, I could do my package dot sub package dot sub demo as sd sd dot sub demo print. Or I can do from my package dot sub package dot sub demo import sub demo print. And then I do sub demo print and I get the same result. So this is how all of the packages that you're used to importing in Python work based off this principle. Of course, they're not in the directory that you're working in. They're in the 
a general package directory for your actual Python installation or wherever those are kept. But uh, this is just a basic overview of how to use packages. So if you want to organize your code into subdirectories, you can do so. You don't have to have everything in the top level directory to use it. And also in this way, it makes it a little easier to distribute your code if you ever choose to do so. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about using packages in Python, just leave a comment down below and I'll get to it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.